Robin here with Matt Mann and Robin OCC. Welcome to the channel where I like to inspire, encourage, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes all year round. I know I say I'm excited a lot, but I really am excited for this video for a couple reasons. Um, the box that we are unboxing today is Star Wars themed. Matt Man and I love Star Wars so much. Our cat's names are Luke and Leia, and those are two main characters in the original Star Wars trilogy. And so this box is so hype for me. I am so excited. I can't wait to show you what all is in here. But first, I have another announcement, and that's the other reason why I'm really excited. So I love you guys. I love sitting here in my living room and talking to you. I love our community. I love what we do. I love that this is a ministry for me and and that is what I wanna keep these videos focused on is Operation Christmas Child Ministries. But I really wanna to get to know you and I want to do that in a space that is more appropriate so, Matt Man and I have decided to start a second channel called Matt Man and Robin Vlogs, and it's just going to be an extension of this. I'm so excited. Um, I just recorded like a few minutes ago our very first video. This is going to be the place where you get to finally meet us, where you sit in our living room. I mean, I guess I'm sitting in the living room right now, but... You get to see the pets up close. Matt Man is going to be on this channel. We're just going to do our daily life, whatever that looks like, whether that is um, cleaning the house or cooking dinner. Um, but mainly, I think it's we love to travel, and we want to include you on those travels. And it just didn't feel like uploading that stuff to Operation Christmas Child web. It just it didn't work but I still wanna share that part of my life with you. So the focus of Matt Man and Robin OCC is going to be the ministry, all about the good things. Nothing will change here. We'll still do hauls. We'll still do tips and trips, tips and tricks. I will still do unboxings. Everything will be the same, but if you want more, if you want extra, there will be a second channel. And I'm gonna link to that in the comments below, but if you just wanna Google it, it's real easy. It's Matt Man and Robin Vlogs with a V, like video, blog, vlog. Anyway, so that's the announcement. We're so excited. I hope you guys go over there and subscribe and um, let me know more about you. That's where we're gonna chit chat. So let's jump into the real reason that we're really here, which is this amazing box. So um, this box is, like I said, a Star Wars themed box. And I've been collecting items for these and I know the answer um, to this question, but I went ahead and emailed um, Samaritan's Purse anyway and just double checked. I said, um, is a box that is Star Wars themed approved? Just because it does have the word war in it, I after I packed the box, I second guessed myself. So this has been ready for a few days and I went ahead and emailed Samaritan's Purse and they said yes. Um, and then they listed out a few themes that could be you know, questionable whether we're allowed to include them because there is some mild violence like Star Wars, Marvel. Um, they, they listed a whole bunch of things that we already knew, right? But I just wanted to double, triple, get it approved. Star Wars is approved. So um, after I received that email from them this morning, I said, great, let's do this unboxing. It is my first box that is for a boy aged 10 to 14. I have several more coming. Um, I, I really love making these boxes and um, I know that they might feel young to us, but I just, I want these children to get to experience childhood. And um, I think a lot of times, even here in the States, 14 year olds have not been allowed to experience childhood, not because of anything that their parents did, it's just the way society is kind of moving these days. But 
My nephew just turned 15 last week and he would love everything in this box. And my niece uh, turned 10 and I bet she would like everything in this box. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be great for the whole age range of 10 to 14. Let's get in here and see what we have to offer. All right, these are the 107 rubber bands. You can get them on Amazon. Here um, are these labels. I had someone recently ask me where these labels are found. They are free of charge on Sumeritan's Purse website. However, they are out of stock right now. So there are a couple things you can do. Um, there are free brochures you can also get, which they do currently have. Or I believe there is a way to just print out this label. I will look for it, and if there is, I will also link that below. So open this and here is his card from us I went ahead and printed um, this is baby Yoda is how most people know him his real Star Wars name is Grogu mm-hmm yeah I would not want that name and then this is the Mandalorian or Mando um, whatever you want to call him when he opens up the card this is what he will see I wrote my letter in green here is our OCC email address. Please don't use this. This is just for the kiddos. Um, and then over here is my translation in four different languages. So this is just a card I picked up on clearance after Christmas and I have printed some things on it and handwritten a note. Now I have the box. This is my favorite box from Daiso. They are $2 and they're a little bit smaller than Operation Christmas Child boxes, but I still love using them. If you do use a clear plastic box, please, please be sure that it is high quality. I do not recommend the plastic boxes at um, Dollar Tree for your external box. This plastic stuff from Dollar Tree is okay for items inside of your box, for holding little knickknacks and gadgets, but for the pressure that these boxes are under um, when they are shipped on those big freighters, the dollar store boxes just don't make it. They, they break easily. So I recommend um, paying up and getting boxes at Target or Walmart or really the best place is probably Samaritan's Purse online. So that is my spiel about plastic boxes. Let's get into this bandana. I really wanted a green bandana, but I was out, and so I had to use what I had, and we went with yellow. I did pack it on a diagonal so that I could cover up all of the goodies, and right on top, his wows start as soon as he opens that bandana. This is what he will see. So, I'm gonna pull this out. Here is his coloring book. It does have Mandalorian right here and Baby Yoda. And then all of the pages are really detailed. They are great for that older child hand-eye coordination, really um, intricate coloring. Well, if I can find a coloring page, there's lots of activities. Um, so here's a robot and here's Baby Yoda. I also have a whole lot of stickers for him. Um, inside of his coloring book, just inside here. He has two Valentines to just kind of reiterate the main characters of this box. He has three pages of stickers like this. Isn't Baby Yoda just adorable? Excuse me. And then I bought one of those really large um, wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I had to cut it in half so it would fit in the box. Here are the three on this sheet and here are the four on this sheet. So really adorable. What I really like about this story theme is that it shows a father and child relationship in a very masculine light. I think a lot of times we think of like um, a little girl and a baby doll as like, oh, cute parenting, modeling, and learning how to love on a child. I love that this story is that same nurturing sense, that same um, wanting paternal love, 
but it is from the perspective of a father. So we don't get very many healthy father figures out there in um, fiction, and so I really love that about this story. And I hope that the child that receives this, the real child, not Grogu, um, but the real child that receives this box just feels that paternal love packed inside of it. I also included a full-size composition notebook because this is going to a child that is definitely in school or school-aged and should be in school. So I hope that they can utilize this amazing composition notebook of lined paper. And that is his flat things that were folded over. Now here is the wow. So right on top, you can see the stuffy that he has there. Um, so I will pull that out. This is actually Yoda, um, which is the same species as baby Yoda, but they are two different characters. So this is the wise Jedi Yoda, but I thought it counts, you know. And this is actually a Christmas ornament. So I went ahead and left the little um, elastic on the top of his head. He might want to attach this to a backpack or it maybe even use it as an ornament on his Christmas tree, but it's such a, a soft plush. It's really cute and adorable. And I got it for, I think, half off at, after Christmas clearance. The next wow item is this. And this is actually considered a six inch figurine, even though it's tiny. <laughs> but that is because Grogu is a tiny little baby. So this is his, um, it's like a stroller really, his bassinet that he comes in in the first season and here is little baby Yoda. Um, it does come detached and I have the instructions in here that I will show you in just a minute because they're really interesting. But this is considered a six inch character because when you add them together, it's about six inches. So adorable, I love this. Um, when I got home with these, I actually got these at Kroger on clearance. Matt was like, where's mine? Why can't I have one? <laughs> so I was like, do you want me to go back and get you one? He's like, no, I don't need a toy. Where would we put it? But he was kind of sad that it wasn't for him. And then here is the six inch figurine of the Mandalorian. Isn't he so cool? His head moves, his arms articulate, and his hips rotate. So he's just a whole lot of fun. So the one thing I was really concerned about is if you can see here, let me see, I'll put his hands up. Um, this hand has like that G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip so they can hold random things. But this hand, you can tell it doesn't. Um, and it's not gonna focus, but there was a gun in here. You can tell if I kind of hold it out um, that it was fashioned to hold a gun. I just cut off the gun part here because I didn't want to send the gun. And then I used a Sharpie to color in. It, had, it, it was a solid brown, but it wasn't the same brown as his um, gloves so I just colored it in the same color and I don't think you can tell at all if I hadn't told you it you wouldn't be able to tell because his regular hand is also in a fist so anyway I did go ahead and cut off the gun and now I feel a hundred percent a-okay about everything in this box and I'm really excited to send a positive father figure um, from a storyline in a shoebox so the cool thing about these guys is it came in these boxes and I really wanted to include the boxes, but they just took up too much space. So I cut off the packaging and put the fronts, oops, wrong side, put the fronts over here so that he would get to see the really cool packaging. And then on the side of the package were these little snippets. And so this talks about Mandalorian the child, which is Grogu. And then this talks about Mandalorian the Mandalorian, which is this character. And the thing that I like about it is it that it is the same sentence 
in one, two, three, four, five languages. So this is not a whole lot. This is a very little in five different languages. So I included that inside of this coloring book so that he could get to know these characters in his own language. I'll just read you the English part. It says, this mysterious alien is pursued by a bounty hunter on behalf of the Imperial interests. So it's talking about how a bounty hunter is after him. And then this one says, the Mandalorian is a formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy. So if you don't know the story, that's how Mandalorian finds the baby Yoda is that he's a bounty hunter and he collects him for bounty. But as he is um, keeping him safe to collect the bounty, um, he forms this amazing fatherly bond and decides to take care of him instead of turn him in. So, whoop, spoiler alert. It's a really good story. You should go watch it. Now, here is the rest of his box. I'm going to have to remember how the whole of this was in here because it was a very delicate situation. So, um, the rest is not wow items, but if I learned anything from watching um, Kayla's most recent video where she talked uh, about and showed the party um, where she and her husband gave out their gifts to the kiddos in their ministry it's that the kids really like the basic items like the necessities that we put in the box are some of their favorite things so I got the wow toy items out of the way now let's get the wow necessities <laughs> in here um, this is pretty basic all that is in here is one pair of underwear um, but because he is a big boy it takes up the whole um, what's this called? Organza bag. These bags were donated by Angie. So thank you so much, Angie. Then the next thing is I do have some foam stickers. I, everybody loves stickers and I thought stars were perfect for Star Wars. So there are silver and gold glittery stickers in here for this kiddo to play with. I also have a tiny pop socket. Um, I really like these. These are from Dollar Tree and they're really great quality in my opinion. Um, here is a glue stick. These were contributed by my Uncle Bill or Matt's Uncle Bill for my birthday. So thanks, Bill. Um, down shoved in in the tiny corner over here is, if I can get to it, here we go, uh, his crayons. So I do have some Star Wars crayons for him. There are eight in here and it came in a pack of three at Dollar Tree. I also have included a fidget spinner. Uh, these are from Five Below. I think it's the consensus that that is the best place to get fidget spinners for, ow! Sorry, my kitty wants my attention. I've been ignoring her and she just bit me. She's sassy, very sassy. We call her our Sour Patch Kid. Ow! Cause she's sweet and then she's sour. She's biting me. Leia. Stop it. I love you. Stop. Sorry about that. Okay, next. I do have a pretty boring mask in here for him, but it is a mask that he can utilize if he needs to for safety, um, if he is far from a doctor and feels ill, or if anyone in his family um, is feeling ill, they can protect themselves for a little while. I have included a calculator in here. This is contributed by Denise, so thank you very much. It is a battery calculator, so there are additional batteries in here, and we'll get to them in a moment. Here is his soap and uh, soap saver. I've also stuffed a few um, band-aids in there for him. My brain is not collecting the words correctly today, so... Um, this soap is also in its original container. Um, I thought this was really neat. This is a little coin pouch, and it is a Funko Pop brand. I actually got this at Walmart on clearance for $1, so I had to pick this up. Again, this was one of those things that Matt was like, can I keep it? And I'm like, if you can tell me what you would use, use it for, 
he couldn't think of anything. So it, it's going to the kiddo. <laughs> I am leaving the tag on here because I just think it's really fun to get a new item. So I don't have a cool t-shirt in here for him to know that he's getting a new item. So I did leave the one tag on this one item. Even though all this stuff is new, I just think um, it is fun to get one tag in your box. Shoved down in here, in the little crevice, is an astronaut eraser. Because, you know, Mandalorian is a cosmonaut, so, you know. And a big pink eraser. This one is actually contributed by Sonia. So, thank you so much, Sonia. Set him over here. Um, I have put right on top here a fidget, a green fidget. I get these in packs of two at Dollar Tree. And then here is um, his partial pencil pack. So I did have to split it up to fit it all in here. It is a very <clears throat> robust amount of school supplies. They've just been kind of broken up. So you did see earlier his um, glue stick that I included and the calculator. So those were both school supplies and his composition notebook. And then the other things in here are contributed by Angie and Izzy and Denise, Sonia and Valerie. So thank you ladies for your amazing contribution. Um, here are these scissors are Westcott scissors and they are a little bit, little tiny bit larger than regular scissors at Dollar Tree. Um, so I do try to send these for the teens uh, just so that their big fingers can fit a little bit better. But they're not the full like six inch or seven inch. They're still pretty small. So I like them for boxes. And then he does have the four Ticonderoga pencils. And he has a multi-pin, click pin with red, blue, black, and green ink in it. I have also included an additional red pin in case his teacher requires a pin for him to come to school. He has a really fun green mechanical pencil, a green highlighter, and four pencil toppers to go on his pencils. So there are two of the really good Papermate ones from Sonia and then two um, green ones from Dollar Tree. So those are the, the school supplies that are in the pencil pack. There are some still in the box uh, just because of how it packed easier. So next is his cup. <clears throat> I will show you the cup so I can pull it out, but we will go through the contents last so that I can put them back into the box. So here, oh, there are those batteries. Uh, when you do, oh gosh, it fell on Leia. She's going to bite me again. When you do send batteries, if they are not in their original packaging, Operation Christmas Child asks that you do tape up both ends. I believe this is a safety issue just to make sure that um, nothing sparks inside of the box. So I did tape these up. I just put masking tape on both ends. So here's the adorable cup. It says, may the force be with you. And again, it's portraying that really healthy, positive parental relationship, which I just love. I think it's great. We'll go through this in a moment. I also have included um, this crank flashlight. This is one of the ones that I got from Dollar Tree at um, the holiday season. It does have three LED lights. You crank it and it does not require solar power or battery power. So I really like including these. Next, I think we have to go with this guy. So here, are the rest of his school supplies. And I had to get creative because I really wanted to include this awesome um, stationary set that I got at Easter clearance, which I think some of you guys found and picked up, but it is really bulky. So I had to get creative with how I packed items in it. First, I wanna show you how big the spiral is on the side. I was able to put his 
um, spoon from Ikea and his toothbrush, which is from um, Daiso with a cover on it. I was able to put both of those inside of the spiral for packing, just like that. So we'll take those out and set them over here. I also was able, if you can tell on the bottom here, this part right in here, this comes with the box and it is attached. So I was able to pack over here four more pencils and then only five, but I think that's still great five colored pencils inside of this stationary set. So um, when he opens it, here are the five colored pencils. He does have a red, yellow, green, blue, and black. I think that's a great variety of colors. And then a set of four specialty Star Wars pencils. Aren't these great? I got these at um, Valentine's clearance. They were Valentine's pencils. And then here, I know a lot of you have been showing this amazing stationery set for um, Easter clearance. I'll just be real quick with it. Here's the inside. Inside here are three gel pens and three markers. So those are additional school supplies for him. And then right here are the stencil, different stencil shapes. Let's see, there you go, you can see them right there that he can poke out and utilize. Here are some more stickers. And then here is what the actual paper, again, mirroring that amazing parental relationship, um, just paper for doodling and journaling, etc. And then this cute little image of Grogu or Baby Yoda at the end. It says, the force is strong with this little one. So I really like that. It's so cute. Just tips on how to pack this thing. I did consider cutting this off, but I didn't want to mess up the back, so I just went with it. And that's how I decided to pack these stationary sets that a lot of people got for Easter. Here is his bag. Isn't it so cute? This is from Dollar Tree. The side is just a solid green. But there is Baby Yoda with the little, um, it's kind of sad, but these are the things that he eats. So this is like his lunch. And then this has really cute watercolory Baby Yoda. So adorable, great little bag here. And then down in the very tippy top, why do you say tippy top? Because it's the bottom. My goodness. I have... This, um, also a little journal. This was um, donated by Izzy, so thank you, Izzy, for contributing this. And a book, because I'm trying to put books in all of my boxes. And this is, again, that really great, the first ever Easter, first Easter ever book that I talked about in my last video. Just really good um, illustrations. And I like the English level for a teen a teen kiddo learning English I think this is a great amount of English that can help them in their studies or if they are in a country that speaks English this is a great one to just learn the Easter story so that is the bottom of the box now we will go through what is in stuffed into his cup uh, right on top here this is his amazing Fiskars Pencil sharpener. I got these at Walmart on clearance for a quarter, which is amazing. Uh, he has a lanyard and a metal whistle right here on top. These whistles were contributed by Angie, so thank you, Angie. And if you can tell, it is a spaced theme lanyard. So, again, Star Wars, that's a great fit. Oh, he has some good stuff in here. Uh, there is his chapstick, it's green. Here is his um, nail clippers, nail file, and some safety pins. And in here, I have packed the instructions back here. And again, this was also contributed by Angie. Girl, these boxes are half yours. <laughs> I love sending, sending, sending googly eyes. And these ones glow in the dark. How fun is that? So these were actually Halloween clearance from Michael's. Here 
are his crosses that I like to include. These were contributed by Annabeth and Ashton. And the um, this little string here actually came on the whistle from Angie, but since I attach it to a lanyard, I took it off and included it with his cross. Crosses, multiple crosses. I also really like to include jewelry with every box. So these are also from Izzy. These are really great quality um, stone crosses and it comes with the cord. The Amazon um, link where it says 50 pieces, it really means 100 pieces because you get 50 of the cord and 50 of the charm. So it's not 25 of each, it's 50 of each, which is amazing. It's an amazing deal. Uh, next, I like to include in every box, no matter their age, two little figurines. So this guy is getting two green dinosaurs. I still think a 14 year old would love to play with these. I could be sadly mistaken, but I just, they're so fun. Like I would play with these. Also, he has two cars. I really love these cars. To me, these represent Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian. So just to give you a little reminder, little refresher, here is Yoda, little Baby Yoda. And here is the car that represents Baby Yoda. Isn't that adorable? And then here is Mando, Mandalorian. And here's the car I picked to represent Mandalorian. So to me, I think I did a decent job of picking out two cars out of my stash from my dad that represent the characters of this box. Here is his comb, also from Angie. So thank you so much for this really sturdy comb. And then, okay. All right, we can do it. Down in the bottom of the cup, there's a bouncy ball because everybody needs a ball. And a magnet that has Baby Yoda on it. Matt has one of these on his toolbox out in the garage. So every time that I pull the car into the garage, I see this magnet. And then here is his washcloth with that mirroring, that paternal relationship, which I so much love and I hope translates well in this box. And then the last thing, I love this. This is, I love this. Um, it is socks and I have them folded up because they are holding something precious. But look at the socks. <laughs> Baby Yoda socks. I got these at Walmart on clearance. I think that they were, they were still kind of pricey for socks, but I went ahead and splurged. I think they were $2 a piece that I splurged because I wanted to get this specific sock. And then here is the last thing in the whole box. It's a watch, isn't that so cool? I found these for a dollar at Walmart on clearance and I bought them out. I bought every single one they had. I love them so much. The bands have Baby Yoda all over them and then the face has Mandalorian and Yoda. And I um, folded up the instructions which are written in several languages and rubber banded them to the um, watch band. So. That is the box. I absolutely love this box. We love Star Wars. I love the Mandalorian show. Again, I love that relationship that it reflects. I hope that that love of a father is, is clearly illustrated in here and that the, um, the book that I included about the Easter also reflects the love of the father and that somehow this amazing story is just translated and used um, for ministry purposes. So thanks so much for following along again. If you wanna know more, if you wanna get to know me, just me um, on a regular basis and chit chat and hang out, uh, please go check out our new vlog at Mattman and Robin Vlogs. Uh, the link is in the description below. I'm still me over there. I'm still me over here. Nothing here will change. You just get more over there. So in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye. See you next time.